Hello, Brad Wright from the Single Malt Whiskey Club here, and this month it's back to Scotland for both of our October offerings. Our Malt of the Month is from Tomadin Distillery's Alter Ego Cubacan, with the very first batch of their 12-year-old Caribbean rum cask finish exclusive to our little club. And our Members Extra, this month is another of our $99 mystery malts. So, what do you do if you're a Highland Malt whiskey brand, whose light and fruity whiskey is their brand, but want to make some peated whiskey without alternating your established customers? Well, one way to do this is to sell your peated whiskey under an entirely different brand name. And this is exactly what Tomaton Distillery have done with Cuba Khan. Starting in 2013, for one week every year in winter, Tomadin distills wash made from lightly peated barley and eventually, once it's matured, sells this peated whiskey under the Cubicarn brand name. The name Cubicarn translates to ghost dog in Gaelic. It's pretty October appropriate. It's inspired by a local Highland legend of a spectral hound that has roamed the area for centuries. And the brand's motto is unlock the unusual. And it does this by maturing in a variety of interesting and different casks to unlock unusual flavors. Now, we all know that there has recently been another Caribbean rum cask finish released from a famous Islar distillery pitched by a pretty famous face and recently offered by another whiskey club in Australia. The Cuba Khan, though, is a much, much less peated base spirit than the other one, allowing way more, in my opinion, allowing way more of the fruit and the vanilla of the final product to shine through and certainly allows more of those rum casks influence to push through. In fact, there's, there's just very, very little of the peat that makes itself known in this Cuba Khan whiskey, to be honest. Two other things that set this whiskey apart from that other Caribbean rum cast release. The Cuba Khan won Best Scottish 12 Year Old and Under at the 2024 World Whiskies Awards, and it picked up a gold at the 24 San Francisco World Spirits Competition as well. The Cuba Khan is about 25 bucks less expensive than the Offerman, and it's also a year older. So, what is it? The Cuba Khan 12 year old Caribbean rum cask batch one is made from lightly peated Scottish barley, initially matured in ex bourbon American oak casks for about 11 years. It's then finished for 12 months in casks from unnamed rum distilleries from Guyana and Barbados. So I'm thinking Diamond Distillery and Four Square casks, perhaps, and bottled at a pretty healthy 46% ABV. This is the very first batch of this delicious whiskey and it's exclusive in Australia to the Single Malt Whiskey Club. So here it is, lovely bottle, bit different there, beautiful color as you can see, lovely yellowy gold, but more important is how it tastes. So on the nose, mm, at first there's a musty malt aroma, but a definite hint of Caribbean rum funk there as well with a sweet, overripe tropical fruit salad sort of note. There's hot summer nights jasmine flowers as well. And there's just a tiny pinch of sort of sweet polythene glue note right in the very peripheries there. The palate. Mm. It's really rather dry on the palate at first with a medium ginger heat curtain. The parts just to allow those Wow, a crisp green apple notes and there's tart sweet pineapple. Candied citrus rind and vanilla in there in spades as well. Yum. Not much, uh, not much of the peat on the finish. It's a rather crisp and clean finish. There's just the smallest suggestion of smoke there right at the end. But look, the fade out is really mostly all about those fruity notes again. Look, it's a peated whiskey to be sure. I mean, it, it says so on the label, right? Right? But I think this is about as close to the line as a whiskey can be. Still look itself in the mirror when it calls itself peated. There's certainly no burnt rubber notes. There's no hospital iodine. There's no band-aids, no tar. 
oil or bitumen in this. So if you don't like peated whiskey, you can still love this one. It's fruity, it's crisp and clean on the palate, it's light and delicious whiskey. It's not oily, heavy, feels like getting lung cancer peated whiskey. Interestingly though, for some reason, the peat effect seems to be magnified by a smoky cokey, which is a peated whiskey and coke, if that's your thing, but neat. This is as light and fruity and easy drinking a whiskey that I think is perfect now that the warm weather has seriously taken hold. It's good. Yum. Mm. Mm. So, and now, our members extra for October... And for October, we're going all a bit Halloween spooky here with a mystery malt for just 99 bucks. Yep, you'll have to trust us, but what I can tell you is this is a Speyside whiskey. It's well over a decade old. It's been finished in a Madeira cask and bottled just shy of 50% ABV. It's 700 mils, and we know that you won't be disappointed in this delightful firkin dram. Oh. And at 99 bucks, it's the perfect opportunity to buy a few Krizzy presents as well. At under 100 bucks, we guarantee it will make a great gift for any whiskey lover, so grab a few. That's October then, our Malt of the Month, a gold medal category winning Highlander that's just very lightly peated. Is it really peated? And a $99 Mystery Malt. We'll know you'll love it, so grab both. I know I am. And that's it for me for October. So until next month, I'm Brad Wright from the Single Malt Whiskey Club. Sleep, bro.